Sir, you are from? You are from? I'm a Goan from Pune, but settled in Goa. Where? In the South Goa. We live in Kolba. Our workshop is in Lothali. Yeah. Uh, we make, we try to make pickles without preservative, without any artificial additives. So all our pickles and preserve our masalas, except for kafir, are made with vinegar and salt in fixed ratios. Oh yes, sir. The vinegar is brought made from toddy, coconut toddy, which we make so that to ensure that the quality is good. The kafriya, I said, is not because we kafriya is made with fresh coriander. So because of that, we use a preservative called sodium benzoid to make that. All the products have got a shelf life of more than a year and they're natural. There is no, I don't say they are organic because I don't know whether the farmer who grows the brinjal is organic. I don't know the chilies are coming from an organic farm. So I say they're natural. And besides that, your background is? I'm a BCom. Then I've done my DBM and then I did my MMS in finance. Wow. And my wife. But there's a lot of learning that goes into this, not creating all these products. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of every day is a learning process. Believe me, you, I I don't think I can say or anyone can say they're master because every day you face a new problem, a new difficulty, some new thing comes, a new thought comes. So you learn. Always a learning process. But yes. Which are your fast moving products? Our fast moving products are basically garlic pickle. In the pickle section, garlic, which is here. Yeah. This is garlic. This is a seasonal product. Yeah. Which Goans all use. It's a mango stuff, mango board lady they call okay. it. Okay. Okay. Chipney, which is a water pickle, very fast moving. And now I have noticed that chutney also is fast moving. So you are making a lot of traditional recipes and marketing them. Yes, yes, yes. What is your goal? Is there a social goal uh, also? You see, the one goal is that we intend not to we intend not to use any preservatives as far yeah. as possible. Because if you buy anything that comes into Goa, it has preservative. Whether it's class two preservative, class one. So what's the problem with preservatives? You see, preservatives are not natural. Yeah. Nothing natural. It's basically chemical composition, okay. and our bodies are not attuned basically to eat things like that. Our bodies are tuned to eat natural stuff because God's created everything natural. Yeah. So that's why we use natural as far you as possible. You also feel strongly for preserving traditions. That yes, very strongly for preserving tradition. That is why, for example, jire mire is an old age recipe. It's not a, a new thing. But if you go to see how many people have heard of jire mire, yeah. my grandmother used to make jire mire. My mother didn't. What's unique about it? The unique thing about jire mire is a very versatile masala. I see. And it can be used for beef. You can even use it in dal, like a, you know how you get Maggi noodles. Yeah, flavor, 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 yeah, yeah. So you can use it for that. Really? So it is a versatile masala. The very versatile which people think, which are misnomer is that everyone thinks that you use chicken kafriel. Kafriel is only for chicken. You can use it for chicken. You can even use a fish. How you ratio the fish? You put a little onion chopped in fine. You put a little amul butter inside. Squeeze a little lime juice. Add salt and put a little kafriel masala and don't fry it. Put it in a foil. And just keep it on the pan if you, if you don't have sawdust. Yeah. If you have sawdust or hay, put it in a foil and throw it into the hay. It cooks in its own juice. So the fish is got a, a beautiful aroma when you open that foil. So your interest in food goes back to how many years? My interest in food goes back from the time I was born. I was I'm a foodie. I love to eat. And yeah, you and you also understand it. Normal. Sorry. You you also and you also understand it. I understand because my wife is a good cook. Okay. So you don't cook. You don't cook. I also cook. Yes. I also cook. I cook simple dishes like dal, rice, vegetable, mince, okay. chicken stew, simple dishes. And I can make a musaka bake, a farmer's harvest pie. But uh, more intricate dishes she does. Pune, there's been a good big uh, Goan community in Pune. there's a very big Goan community. Very very big Goan community, and they're concentrated in pockets. Like camp, if you go camp. to yeah in camp, like if you go to Matchbox Building. Only Goans. You go to uh, Nirmal and Oas, only Goans. The whole of camp area around uh, St. Vincent Street, yeah. uh, Convent Street, all Goans. So, Synagogue Street, Goans. The City Church uh, Parish, Goans. St. Xavier's Parish, Goans. So, Gurpuri had a lot of Goan community. Now it's become more Tamilian and less Goans. So, How do people contact you online, Facebook? Uh, number? I have, yes, I have a card. Yes, sir. Yeah. I have a website. Card, card, can you? Yes, I have a card. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have a website? Yes. So, people contact me. Mostly it's by word of mouth. Uh, yeah. My product is with our product, not mine. Our yeah. product has become famous by word of mouth and by the quality. And basically, I do the ball talks and she does the hard work. So, <laughs> hi. 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 Nice.